What's up creators? This week's newsflash is going to be an exciting one. We have a packed agenda, so let's get down to it. All right, this update is going to make a lot of creators very, very happy. We've heard feedback that the ability to change your profile name and profile picture on YouTube without those components changing for your Google account is really, really important. And currently you can't do it. But over the next couple of weeks, we'll be rolling out the capability to do just that. That means that you'll be able to update your profile picture and name to be more representative of the content that you're creating without those components changing for your Google account. We'll leave a description of how you can make this happen for your channel on mobile and on desktop in the description below. But first, let's call out two small things. Firstly, if you change your channel name, you're not going to lose your custom URL. Secondly, if you change your channel name, you will lose your verification badge. You can reapply, but it may take several weeks for that application to process and for you to see a badge back on your channel. And why do you need to do this? Well, we still need to check and ensure that the channel still represents the creator, the brand, the entity that it claims to represent. Thirdly, you're going to need to keep an eye on those community guidelines. They apply to all parts of content all over YouTube, and there is no exemption for a channel name or profile picture. We'll leave a link to those in the description below. As ever, leave us some comments, leave us some feedback. We'd love to know what you think of this new development and the process behind it. Okay, on to our next update. We heard feedback from creators that within Studio Desktop, using the filter haven't responded to was rendering comments that you'd given hearts to, and creators considered those comments that you have actually replied to. So as a result of the feedback from the creator community, we've updated the haven't responded to filter to exclude those that you've hearted. All right, on to music. In an effort to provide more recognition when it comes to trending and music, those videos that appear on the trending music chart will now feature a badge. And that badge is gonna indicate their position on the trending music chart on the watch page itself. That's similar to the main trending tab, as well as trending gaming. Clicking on that badge is going to direct the user to the trending music list. And now I'm happy to bring you an amazing update about YouTube Kids, with YouTube Kids now launched in new countries, including Algeria, Bahrain, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates, Yemen, and Turkey, this means that it is available in 107 countries and 13 territories. So that means that it's on par with YouTube name. So congrats to all involved, especially all the creators that make sure kids have amazing content to watch on the platform. On to an update about shorts. The awesome news we want to share with you this week is that over the next week, all creators within the United States will have access to the shorts camera. Now, in addition to the new creation tools, we're launching a couple of new features with the Shorts camera. Let's go through each one of the four nine. First up, 60 second recording. Now, when you're recording with the Shorts camera, you can see the option to switch from the maximum duration of 15 seconds to 60 seconds. That's the feature. But keep in mind, when you're recording with music from the YouTube library, you're capped at 15 seconds. Secondly, we have Shorts filters. You'll be able to switch to different filters in the recording and editing screens within the Shorts camera. These will enable you to color correct or change the vibe of your short. Now, keep in mind, this is just the beginning because over the next year, we'll be releasing a ton of new filters and effects so you can get the vibe you want. Thirdly, captions. Now, these are gonna be added automatically to your shorts or you can enable manual captions and enter them yourself. Users can toggle between the two as they watch your short. And finally, we're adding a shorts tab to the mobile app experience. This is to enable users to explore short content on YouTube and the tab can be found at the bottom row of the app. Now the tech team themselves wanted me to describe in detail what this means. So you'll forgive me if I'm reading this particular part out, but I want to get it right. With this Shorts tab update, Explore can now be found as the first topic at the top of the home feed. Explore is a place to discover what YouTube has to offer from up and coming creators to trending videos and destinations for popular topics. We introduce topics on home 
to help you easily discover content on creators that may be of interest to you. So Explorer is a natural addition to this row since it helps you find trending content from creators you may not have seen before. We'll soon be directing everyone to this new place for Explorer with in-app reminders as we make this adjustment. And that's why I love working on Creator Insider because of the fact that you hear directly from the teams that work on all of these updates. So leave us any feedback when it comes to shorts in the comments below. And with that, that is this week's newsflash from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week.